Good afternoon. Welcome back to another vlog. This one is just a quick update. I've actually just got back from Stover Golf Club after playing in my Wednesday roll-up competition. Teed off first thing this morning. Gonna give you an update on how that went. And also just a quick reminder, after the fantastic weekend that was at Bethpage Black, this little giveaway here, how lovely are they, is coming to an end. So yeah, gonna head down to Dainton Park now. Uh, have a little chat with Rich, see how we get on. It's a beautiful day. Might play some holes, don't know yet, but I need to practice some things that I saw in that round because there are a few things that were just a little bit frustrating, but all in all, a positive video.
Right guys, so just got home. Um, only a little short clip today from Dayton. A bit busy down there to be fair. The weather's nice, it's like 22, 23 degrees out here today with very little wind. So as you can tell from my beetroot like face, it is very, very warm. So yeah, as you can see there, just really going down there to really to work on a bit of putting. It's odd, I spoke to Brad just off camera, the, uh, the assistant pro there who's just gone through his PGA about what I feel like I'm actually lacking on the golf course now. T to green today, really, really consistent. I don't think I've ever been that consistent with irons and with driver. I missed one fairway today with driver, which is unheard of for me. I normally miss quite a few, but straight as an arrow today, straight as an arrow, just by taking my time, actually getting a little bit slower, I'm actually focusing on hips getting through a little bit more. I'm not trying to whack it. It's really simple, I know, but it's difficult to get that out of my skull sometimes. But yeah, really, really consistent. I got a two on the card, so I'm in the money at least, even if I don't win. Um, yeah, solid today, solid. I don't know if handicap will move, hopefully it will, but we shall soon see. Um, I played first thing, this competition runs right through the day, it's a roll up, which you all will know if you're members of clubs. Um, there can be some reasonably good scores there, so I'm not optimistic in terms of winning, but it's certainly a score that puts me in the right direction. Very, very consistent golf today. Also some exciting news. Um, I say it's exciting news, it's just news. I am um, arranging something with Harry Flower uh, in the next 10 days, hopefully going to do some filming at Stover with Harry, um, which will be absolutely awesome because I've been wanting for a while to do stuff with Harry. He is just very, very busy um, and I appreciate him actually taking the time to film a bit with me. I'm going to try and play with as many, many good players and pros if I can as possible now. Um, spoke to Rich today at Dainton, hopefully going to play an event with him soon. Uh, Gonna see if I can make it or not. 6th of June, there was an event at Oak Manor Golf Club. It's like a pro-am kind of thing, better ball, as well as a medal individually for the amateurs and pros. So yeah, hopefully can make that. I wanna try and surround myself with as many good playing professionals or even just good players as possible. Got a couple of things lined up hopefully soon. But yeah, it's all going in the right direction, which is a positive thing for myself and for you guys to follow as well. Right, so little jump actually, a couple of days after I filmed uh, that little update of my competition. Turns out I finished seventh, which is, it's good. I um, I actually stayed where I was in terms of handicaps. I haven't, I haven't moved up, I haven't moved down. But like I said before, honestly, one of the most solid games of golf I think I've ever played. Um, so really big positives there. Felt good off the tee, felt good off the fairways. Just a bit of putting let me down. So I've been working on that the last couple of days. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm gonna be playing. I've been practicing loads. I practiced last night after work. I practiced tonight briefly after work. Um, so lots of practice getting in now and starting to play with a lot more kind of, what's the term? So I suppose professional golfers or better, better standard of golfers. That's just to try and get me into the mindset of a professional golfer a little bit more and take it a little bit more seriously. I do feel, that up until really kind of Wednesday, I hadn't really been taking it. I have been taking it seriously, but I, I feel I could concentrate more basically. And whenever I play with better golfers, like you probably agree, you concentrate that a little bit more. So really trying to surround myself with as many top level or, or good level golfers as I possibly can. I'm still gonna have fun, still gonna play with my mates and still play with them. But at the meantime, whilst my target is there and in sight, I need to start concentrating on getting handicapped now and actually concentrating on my golf a bit more. Um, so some big news coming up at the end of this video as well. So uh, stay tuned. But right, but first, it's that time of night where I'm gonna reveal to you who has won the giveaway for the Callaway Chrome Soft True Viz. So here we go. So let's get this underway. The winner of my first giveaway for the uh, for the second major of the year um, is, and it was a, unfortunately he got his prediction wrong, but my God was he close to getting it right. He predicted Dustin, oh, D Dustin. He predicted Dustin Johnson to win. Now, my God, what a comeback he tried to make on the last day. Unfortunately, Brooks Kepka was, a little bit too smart on the on the 18th hole to actually make any kind of mistake really and um, i think he was just too far forward wasn't he but teddy bennett well done to you you have won these bad boys so all i need you to do is just comment your details or send me a message on facebook instagram whatever um and i will get in touch with you get an address and i will post these to you so well done to you you have won the second giveaway on my channel 
but yeah anyway thank you to everyone that commented yet again it was another decent uh, another decent participation from you guys really good to see you getting involved actually to be fair I'm starting to get a few more comments starting to get a few more likes which is awesome it shows the channel's growing even if the subscriber count is a little bit slow at the minute it just shows you guys are interacting a little bit more which is what I want but yeah so that's that the next video like I said to you earlier there is some news I am filming with Harry Flower next week next friday i'm playing with him and filming which is awesome cannot wait i'm absolutely buzzing this is one of the guys I actually wanted to do something with to start with so the fact he's managed to kind of fit me into his very very busy schedule i'm really really pleased so looking forward to that so hopefully some good content coming for you soon but in the meantime the next one probably will be a practice vlog and a little chat with you guys a bit more about my golf but until then i will see you next time so see you later guys